Hello, my name is Garx82, and welcome back to my Greg Tech New Horizon series. Just trying to figure out what I want to do today, and I think uh, now that I've sort of boosted my power a little bit, I am centrifuging all my moonstone dust, and this is very, very slow. Uh, slow going here. Um... Because it's a 2.5% 2, 2 drop, I think, for the tongue states. So I've done multiple stacks of moon dust, and I only have 18. So I have... All I have is two tongue states, and I need seven just to get one tungsten. So, yeah, this is pretty rough here. Um, and I need... I think I figured out I need eleven heavy duty plates and I need I think one tungsten steel does three, so I need four tungsten steel. Um so yeah, I actually do have one tungsten and you get two from the or thing. So I do I need four more tongue states, or yeah, I didn't even get any there. Um, what is that? Four thirty-six of the small. One. I guess that isn't so terrible, but man, this this tiny drop. As we can see, I've already gone through sixteen and didn't get any. Um, but anyway, so that is one thing I'm working on. Uh, so while that's kind of cooking up and doing its thing, I also have um, I need to get epichlorhydrin and the other thing is circuits so I think I think the probably the best thing to start doing is working on this epichlorhydrin so I can get I think it's like epoxy or something let me see if we do circuit board So this is the next tier up, I believe. So as usual, man, that needs a thousand. Holy cow, that's a lot. The iron chloride uses half, so that is something to maybe look into. I mean, I have so much hydrochloric acid as well, but it does use iron dust. I don't know. Maybe I'll look into this actually. Uh, now, because now that we're getting into these higher circuits, it's using like an entire bucket per circuit. So that's a bit rough. I feel like this one's out of order. <laughs> Why is this one over here? Shouldn't it be over here? Anyway, so this is the next one. Then the one up from that. See, now this one uses two buckets, whereas this only uses one. I don't know. That's something to think about. Um, but to get these circuit boards, I need these epoxid sheets, which needs molten epoxide, or epoxid, which needs epilocohydrin. Epilocohydrin, sodium hydroxide, which is actually pretty easy to make, and... Bisphenol, so as we can see, we're going down a rabbit hole here, um, but it needs phenol and epichlorhydrin. So this will lead to the bisphenol, and this will lead to epichlorhydrin, and then I'll get the, the thing. So I guess the easiest way to get phenol is out of heavy fuel. There are other ways, like getting out of wood tar from a pyrolysis oven, iso something something, and oxygen, or chlorobenzene and water. So let's... Take a look at my fennel here. At the greatest of ratios, you get 25%. That's like even lower. And this requires an MV distillery, which I don't have. The wood tar. Though I could extract my charcoal, I have tons of it. 
Can I get ashes out of that? Can't I get carbon out of ashes as well? Or no? No, apparently you can't. I thought you could get... Maybe that's dark ashes. Alright, so here is a question. Do I want to just do heavy fuel, which I have a lot of? I mean, I don't need a ton of it. So if I need 8, I need 32 buckets of heavy fuel, and I have a ton of it. And that's 200 to... I think I'm just going to go with the heavy fuel route, I think. Um, because this will get even easier once I get a distillation tower up. Yeah, I have 183,000 buckets of heavy fuel, so uh, I think uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Question is... What kind of thing do I put it in? It's a second. That is not that fast either. So the question is, what tier am I going to build all this stuff in? Um, do I want to do it in HV? Let me... Hmm. Let me take a second to kind of figure out what tier I want to build all these machines in, and we will continue. All right, I am back and just doing some rearrange in here. I have decided to go with the um, HV. Like all the HV machines for this uh, setup because I'm trying to get away from doing everything in LV. Um, but I'm just kind of expanding my my cables here. I finally broke down and got some dense cable and completed the uh, dense cable quest. And I actually had a couple 4K ones I didn't realize had completed, so that was nice. The dense cable actually gives you four as a reward, so that's pretty cool. All right. So I wanted to do that so I could come over here and um, Extend the line out here. Now this was, I had this ammonia in the tank, so I actually Yeah, I'm just gonna take that off and then I'll just do that uh, manually until I can get it set up for um, So I can get it set up with the like storage buses and export buses and stuff anyway so I wanted to just come along here and then, if needed, I will put export buses and stuff on here, but um, I'm just kind of trying to uh, save on channels at the moment, um, be just because I can't, making these things is not the easiest yet, um, so I'm kind of limiting how much, uh, how many like cables and stuff I place. So I'll just do all right so question is where do I want to set up all my machines here I was thinking about maybe over here but no I don't want to do that that's I'm saving that kind of row for my um, all my multi blocks I'll probably have, I'm sure I'll have many large chemical reactors in the future. Like, I was thinking of even putting all this, uh, creating this nitration mixture, like these three chemical reactors doing in one. So, um, just haven't figured that out yet. Um, I may just plop this down kind of like wherever for now. And then I will kind of sort it out uh, in between episodes. But there is the advanced distillery. I need to empty my bags just a little bit here. 
Otherwise it gets pretty confusing here. All right, there we go. So I need, question is how many All right, that's actually, now that I'm thinking about it, that's those cables are actually too high. I only have four batteries in here. So I'm only ever going to get four amps out, no matter how many machines I put down the line. Um, so I need like 2x Electrum at the most. Man, I need to get all this stuff. <laughs> I keep saying I need to get it automated. And I'm working on it, but yeah. Luckily, I have actually replaced a lot of these machines already. I just haven't broken these down. All right, so. I have, I do. So there's my distillery for the fennel. And what do I need in that? I need a heavy. Yeah, heavy fuel with a three circuit. All right. Let's get the circuit out of there. Now I also need... I do have a fluid storage bus, so that's good. Export. Yeah, I just need to add, was it three lapis? Yep, three lapis. Just needs to be done in a MV. All right, so the storage bus is going to go on my heavy fuel tank. I'll finally get that in my A system. Yeah, I have a fluid export bus, but I don't have any, I don't have a storage bus on it. So I'll just, yeah, we're good on channels over here. I'll just throw it right there, I guess. And it's getting so messy over here because I'm now I have like cables for AE and then I have pipes for Greg Tech. So I, uh, it's just getting so messy. The problem is I, I'm using almost <laughs> using 242. All right, so that should have. Let me just double check that. Put the. Yep. Now I think I can. There we go. It can get kind of annoying because the light fuel jumps around. All right, so I guess uh, I need to move all these as well. But that is, I'm going to worry about that again at a later time. I guess we'll throw it right here. How about we just put it right here for now? We'll put that in there. Um, I guess we'll just do underneath. Don't like it really having exposed cables like this. Just 
This mod is so annoying as well. All right, so that should export in there, which it is. Sweet. And then I need electrum cables. Is this blocked? Yeah, all right, this needs to go. <laughs> I knew that was going to be annoying when I originally placed it, uh, covering up the cables down here or blocking them. All right, let's be careful because that's an MV machine that'll explode if I touch it. All right, so there we go. There is our fennel. So let me get let me get the eight things of fennel here, and then the next I will get the machines ready for the epical hydrogen. All right, been crafting up a few things, and I actually made one change to my turbine, and that is I added a output hatch. Uh, for distilled water and then ran a pipe over to my autoclave over here um, because I needed to craft up these flukes crystals and since I disconnected my water source I had no way to uh, get water into this distillery so I'm probably just gonna go ahead and break that down Just gonna get rid of all this, I think. At least to like there. I'm just gonna leave that uh, at the moment. Um, but yeah, I've been doing a bunch of crafting here and trying to get all the machines that I'm gonna need for this uh, epoxied, uh, I can't remember what they are, epoxy resin or something like that. Yeah, epoxy sheets, that's what it was. And uh, I'm going to need a whole lot of machines for this. And uh, I've been putting the recipes into the machine. And one of the things I finally got around to doing is crafting an advanced arc furnace. And the reason for that is you can convert sand directly into glass. Um, it does use a lot of EU per tick, though, as we can see. So can't be running this a whole lot. Um, but it does go really quick. Um, but yeah, I was starting to need a lot of glass for the patterns that I was making. Because the patterns need this quartz glass and all sorts. So um, yeah, just thought I would show that off. Now I have added a few more machines to... The ME network so I have my bending machine and then I have this assembler that can create the hulls so just kind of slowly adding stuff to uh, my network here I just don't want to go too crazy just because of the amount of power that gets used um, yeah and I also had another interface back there because I was quickly filling these up uh, with machines so I think I think if I'm going to do all my auto crafting eventually in HV, I think that's what I've decided. Um, I think I'm just going to, like whenever I craft new machines, just add them directly to the circuits. Anyway, just wanted to show that off. We'll be back when I get the next few machines crafted up here. All right, we are back and I've done a few things here. So first is a chemical reactor. And this I need, uh, for my chemical reactor I need, I can't remember what it is. Do I need empty cells? Yeah, I might as well just take the empty cells. Uh, acetone is what I need to work towards next. 
and acetone. There's multiple ways to make it, obviously. Uh, but I think, I mean, like wood vinegar and stuff, you could just get it from that. It's not the best thing, but I don't have a pyroless oven. So I'm going to try to do it this way through calcium acetate. And for that, I need acetic acid. And for that, I need ethylene and oxygen, which is not too bad. I have no idea why I have a five circuit. I moved something and I don't remember what it came from. <laughs> so we'll just go ahead and use that, I guess. All right, so that goes in there. Obviously a big, large turbine because it would be easier for this, but I just don't know. Um, don't know if that's how I want to go. Now what? How did that turn off? Oh, it's out of steam, of course. Because I <laughs> don't have it hooked up to my steam anymore. Okay, so that's a bit of an issue. Um, I can't crack my nap up. Let me figure this out and we will be back to get the ethylene. All right, I've done a bit of rearranging here. I'm gonna connect that up with a fluid storage bus. And I have added a fluid export bus with steam. And I don't know if you can see it, but uh, I ran a cable all the way over there and put a floor, uh, fluid storage bus on my steam tank. Um, wasn't too difficult. I just had to craft up a bunch more cables, which is a bit of a pain. Anyway, so that should be showing, let me just double check that is showing ethylene. Yep, there's my ethylene. Throwing my... Showing this steam too. It's a bit annoying because they jump around, but oh well. Um, I did unhook the... This one though, unfortunately. Um, but I don't need that yet. I have 16 buckets of ethylene in there, so we're good. Anyway, there is... I'm going to have to get a... I'm going to do this. There we go. I need to get that bucket out so I can set it. Oh. There we There's my ethylene. Let's see, how do I want to do this? I hate this mud, because it's not considered like a full block. I can't jump up from it. Export, ethylene. And I think I have it. I'm pretty sh sure I have enough. Yeah. Enough channels is what I was trying to say. Yep, there is the ethylene. I wonder if I can. Yeah, I can go throw this in my ME system, I guess. Actually, I should probably leave it just in case I need to use that filter again. Anyway, so there is the ethylene. Oh, I need another. No, I already put the circuit in there, didn't I? Yep. So acetone. I'm already forgetting how I'm making this. 
acetic acid was what we're making. Yeah, oxygen, ethylene, program circuit. Um, so again, using the fluid cells, it would probably be easier just to use a large chemical reactor, but for the moment, um, I got to figure out how many I would need for this entire process because some I can share, some I can't. Like this is doing sulfuric light and heavy fuel, um, but I don't know how many of these processes can share one. All right, so there is acetic acid. We'll have it go into the mixer. So to the left, oops, fluid output. Yep, there goes the acetic acid into the mixer. I do need another circuit here. Give it some power. Now these won't be running permanently, so I don't think I'll have issues with power. Like that's off. Yeah, so acetic acid. Now I need to turn the acetic acid into this calcium acetate solution and for that I'm gonna do calcium that just adds two and you get one out of it so you do lose like half of it unfortunately but there we go there is the calcium acetate I think it's called and then I don't know if I need to actually now that I'm don't need don't know if I need to get underneath it the fluid heater and that will go oops to the left There we go. And then this also needs a circuit. I should have looked at that. <laughs> so one. And this is a one to one ratio, which is good too. And that'll get us acetone. And now that I'm thinking about it, I think I would need another chemical reactor here. Luckily, these circuits are really easy to make now, the microprocessors. All right, so there is acetone. Oh, I do need four buckets of it for this quest. Oh, how many I made? Should it be like a Even number. Anyway. Oh, that's fennel. Looking at the wrong tank. There we go. That's what I was like. How do I have like a weird number? All right. Actually, I need the fennel out of it. Or the acetone out of it. There we go. Now I have my fennel, I have my acetone, and I think I need hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid, which I have a bunch over here. I guess I don't really need to get a whole stack of it. I don't know what I was thinking with that. <laughs> there we go, that's almost full though. So there is that, and then we make it in 
become a reactor. So fennel, I'll probably do it that way. I, yeah. See, this would probably be the one I would want to make it in a large chemical reactor. That way I can just pipe all the fluids in. So I'll have to keep I'll have to write that down so I remember for the future, but I guess for right now we will just do oh not acetone. I want bisphenol. Right, that's probably the one I'll do, yeah. So that, that, and that, and I'll just do it in the reactor upstairs. Actually, no, I won't because that has, <laughs> that has chlorine in it. All right, let me get one more chemical reactor here and we will finish this up. Have I mentioned how much I love auto crafting here? being able to click one button and it makes all these components and stuff loving it yeah i never get tired of watching like really complex tasks obviously this isn't very complicated um yeah i never get tired of watching that stuff i'll work out there is my advanced chemical corrector all right, elevators to-do list. <laughs> I don't think I want that auto outputting. But I got to figure out which way would be the easiest. So bisphenol. Doesn't really matter, I guess. We'll put that in there. I do have one extra of these, though. And how much hydrochloric acid do I need? It's one. Oh, I only need four. I got way too much hydrochloric acid here. Oops. There we go. And that's going to produce the molten bisphenol. Let's just pull that back out. And how did that end up back in there? I guess I had the push pull, didn't I? I've had that happen a few times and that is really annoying. So one, two, three, four. All right, and there is my bisphenol. Definitely gonna take these circuit boards because those are the most annoying part. All right, so unfortunately this has taken a lot longer than I thought it was going to. I was hoping I would be able to get epichlorohydrin this um, this episode, um, but we'll have to come back next episode and complete the epichlorohydrin quest, and hopefully we will get the epoxy, if I could spell, epoxy circuit boards, and then um, that will uh, get us the better circuit boards, which can finally get us um, the better and uh, the better circuits. So I'm also going to have to get a circuit assembler, an upgraded circuit assembler, and also an upgraded chemical reactor. So I got a couple things I'm going to have to do in between episodes, um, but. Coming along pretty well. 
Just slowly adding everything to my <laughs> AE network as I'm kind of going. Um, but yeah, we're up to 300 EU per tick. That's almost like <laughs> my entire turbine is powering just my AE2 network. So got to be a little careful here. Um, we're doing okay though so far. I'm running off one combustion generator and the turbine. And uh, we're staying pretty full here. That's slowly charging up from when I used it last. So uh, yeah, feeling pretty good. But anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. So thanks for watching and have a good one.